Pisces, welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma. We're gonna do your April 15th, 21 read. Let's see the messages for you, Pisces. This is going to be a general reading. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't resonate. For more personals, reach out on WhatsApp, Instagram, and email. I do buy previous spells as well, and we have crystals which are high energized, intention jars, self curated. Do subscribe to this channel for more videos on your sign. Do like, share, comment in the end. Let's see if I see what are the messages for you. Please spare me for my sore throat. And yeah, nothing else. Nine of Wands. Queen of Cups. Oh. Ten of Pegals. Someone is in love with you. Why do I keep getting this? But afraid to contact you. They think you're in a relationship. They think that you're committed. They think you're with someone else. Or they think that you're, do, you're wooing someone else. They feel almost rejected, I feel. They really like the way you carry yourself. The way you look. This person does not have guts to tell you how they feel. <clears throat> they see you as a, uh, as a perfect person person as a perfect mate for marriage for lifelong commitment with this person however is coming towards you they've been holding their feelings from a pretty long time probably four months to four years as well you never know but i'm feeling like this person is now coming towards you slowly they're not coming fast they're coming too slow they're intimidated and scared af Okay, Ace of Swords. This person has been thinking a lot about a commitment thing. They've been like waiting from a long time to offer you this commitment to come with you uh, into union, into, into spiritual union, sacred union. This person wants something solid, guys, Pisces. This person now wants to break all the limitations and come towards you with this proposal. Like they have full focus and they have a clear vision that they want only you and that's nobody else coming between you guys. Okay. This person is thinking day in and day out about you. They're trying to beat all the odds. I feel like there's someone that is coming between you guys. I feel it's your family. It's the religion. Is a society pinpointing? I feel there's something that comes between you and them which causes them immense stress. There might be some people that have said something negative about this people to you that has caused you to not trust this person anymore. And now they're like trying to clear the image and it's been like so hard for them to do it. And that is making them seriously concerned and they're going through anxiety. I feel like they have deep anxiety, fear of losing you. They are not sleeping well. And I feel they really, really want to talk to you. Because you are the light. Okay. For some of you, there was a relationship. You guys were in a relationship. But things just started becoming so <clears throat> difficult to continue. Because of third party interferences. And now this person is like going crazy. They cannot, you know, uh, survive without you. I feel like this person is just not happy wherever they are. So, Pisces. The Chariot, the Ace of Pentacles. Right now, Pi uh, Pisces, yeah, this is you. I feel like, okay. Pisces, you have dreams to build a dream career. I feel like you're working on it. You're traveling regarding your career. You're going to a place where you may have... Um, a major breakthrough in money coming in i feel like i want to focus there you will be traveling uh regarding work and <clears throat> you might meet someone new while you travel okay it's like an instant attraction but things will move really slowly from your end but i'm definitely seeing pisces you're more concerned about your business about your career about your own growth and you're really excited to learn about your work and, you know, to make a career of yourself. So right now you're focusing on money. And I'm, I'm also seeing that there's an opportunity of money coming in, like major money coming in if you travel. Okay. See, I was telling you, there are two options coming in, one new, one pass. So you have the decision to make right now. 
you will be the one to decide who you want to be with. Maybe there's a Gemini coming in, a Sagittarius coming in. But what I can see over here is that Pisces, you don't want to go back. That is who you are. <clears throat> you want to look ahead. No matter what happened, what the situation is, you want to experience new love. You want new Okay, so maybe I'm going to choose a new option, but what I can see is there will be two options here that you will be choosing between. Okay, you're not sure of any of these. Okay, you're more concerned about your career right now. There you go. See, three of cups. So yes, I am seeing you will be in a love triangle. Okay. You have someone approaching you, telling you that uh, they're interested. And then there's someone from the past also approaching you that's going to put you in this major confusion. Like, who should I choose? Because both of them want me for marriage and now I'm confused. So I feel like you might be having trust issues because they're coming too strongly towards you. And you're like, isn't it too early to talk about marriage? Like, we haven't even got to know each other and both of them... Both these options are talking about marriage and you're like, what? <clears throat> cancer, probably someone cancer is coming in. Ten of swords and the six of swords. Okay. <clears throat> please clarify ten of swords and the six of swords, please. The justice and the four of swords. There's something that has happened with the past person. I feel like they ghosted you or they were not treating you right earlier. And when you moved away, this person realized their mistake. And now they're trying their best to get you back in their life. Or whether there was some interference of third party between you and your person, you've accepted this fate and you moved on. But I feel like this past person still not moved on and they're not accepting this. They are trying to get, get back with you. But I feel like this past person could be a karmic, but they're still into you. And you might be done. You might be over with this person. You may tell them that it's over. You're not going back. Okay. Could be a Libra, I feel. <clears throat> then we have magician we have the empress we have the strength my gosh we have the star whoa you guys are about to make it big pisces you can see this is a major arcana all four are major arcanas um, I feel like you're about to attract a very hi-fi lifestyle. You know, something major is coming to you. A complete shift in your lifestyle is coming in. You're not the same person. You will be the boss. You might be like, I'm hearing something like you will be partying amongst A-list people. Um, you may go to A-list parties, like very hi-fi. I feel like your life is changing. You're becoming more and more strong and powerful. Some of you may become popular, famous in limelight. So I feel like whatever you're working, you may get uh, major recognition. And some of your singers, you may get a um, major deal. Okay. You will be respected and sought after, like your personality sought after, like people are looking up to you. So you are growing and you may be blocking the past away because this past is just not leaving you behind. Uh, it's just not leaving you. Yeah, you're finally blocking the past and you're moving ahead with new opportunities, new love. So with this, I feel like you're going to make a major mark in society. That is what your major goal is right now. Okay. Pisces, please. Then we have the Seven of Swords, we have the Three of Wands, we have the Queen of Pentacles. <clears throat> In the current place, wherever you're working, Pisces, you're not getting that, you know, uh, credit for your work. Or your hard work is not being paid off well. Sure, angry and you want to change your place. I feel like here, wherever you are, you may not get the desired outcome in the current place or current position you're in. 
But if you expand yourself, maybe go for a higher study, maybe travel, maybe look for a better job opportunity. Over there, there is expansion coming in. Over there, you will see there's a lot of money coming in, respect coming in. I'm seeing you earning huge amounts, investing huge amounts, making yourself abundant. I feel you're soon going to become very rich. Okay, you will be independent. You are financially independent, safe, happy. You feel like a boss. I feel. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm seeing the past not leaving you at all. They will be reaching out to you out of the blue and, you know, blame you for leaving them, for blocking them, for things like this or that. And you're like, you're not able to make them understand that you have no interest in this person anymore. But this person is forcing you to want them, to like them. You know, this person's going nasty over you. Okay. The more you're pushing them away, the nastier they're becoming. And I feel like this person may have an obsession of following you, stalking you in the long run. Page of Cups in the Night of Wands. So I'm definitely seeing there's someone new that you will be giving attention to, but this there's still time. Um, this person will uh, be appreciating your work. You might meet this person through work, or this could be a client of yours, okay? But I'm seeing the moment you guys meet, there will be like instant attraction, and they will be calling you, chasing you, um, asking you out, you know, complimenting your little things. Yeah, this person has a lot to offer. They might propose you as well. But I feel like they'll compliment you a lot. <clears throat> so, yeah. Two of Swords. You're not really um, interested in any of these options right now. You're like, you want to wait. You're not, you haven't found the right kind of person yet. You haven't found your King of Pentacles or Queen of Pentacles yet. So you're like, okay, you're getting the attention, but you're not very interested in any of these here. You're more interested in discovering your potential, traveling the world, becoming uh, uh, successful and seeing what can you do in your life, you know, with your talents. Like you're discovering your talents, you're exploring them, you're expanding them. Some of you are thinking about uh, having a trip around the world, travel and see, you know, beautiful places like that is in your bucket list right now you might get a permanent job opportunity okay and that's like a good news for you what else in love is coming in for Pisces some of you is a Taurus coming in a Sagittarius but I'm definitely seeing you're interested in building a name for yourself like a new chapter has started in your life and you're very career oriented these days you don't want anyone to come and mess things up. Healing family issues, playfulness. And then we have love yourself first. Yeah, right now you want to stay disconnected of love opportunities or not giving too much of attention to love. Because life is actually working in your stride. It is giving you what you want and you're getting that success uh, unexpected. Now your family is really proud of yourself and you're, you're free. There's no responsibility. You're open. You're free. You can do anything you want. So <clears throat> I feel like naturally you're falling in love with yourself. You're very much uh, interested in exploring the world. So you don't want to connect with anyone on a deeper level right now. So you're feeling disconnected. You're feeling connected within yourself only. See. Me, male, false person, official person. See, there are two people interested, but none of them are worth your interest. I feel, I don't know. I feel like initially you will be giving attention to the new love at least. This new person could be um, from your job, from your workplace, but I feel like you're not, you're not like seeing them as valuing valued enough okay so your expectations haven't met the reality yet so you're like okay with the attention that you're getting two people are focusing on you two people are giving you attention you might expect a message from the past person but you have no trust okay you don't trust this person from the past for sure i see please 
yeah, that is what you're talking. That is what you're saying to the past person. Hey, I know you like me or whatever it is, but my journey is different and we need to separate ourselves. And I feel like this person is in love with you. Yeah, but you don't care because they and you are not on the same page. And that is also one of an important factors being with someone. They should be able to understand you where this person is just, just obsessed. That's it. She's probably saying no to them. Pisces. So this major luck coming your way. That's something that I'm seeing. Like you will have a major impact on society. You make it big in your career. Something big you're going to come up with. You may get famous or like rich or influential. Any of these. And we have my beloved. I feel like your person is still away from you and... They're coming towards you. <clears throat> yeah. Some of you have dealt with a, Pi uh, a Scorpio. Pisces, a Scorpio. And you're leaving this behind because this person hasn't let, let you go. But you've let them go. Because they do not come into your... Um, you know level or standards i feel like this person has a very different mindset so you don't want to deal with it i'm also seeing that this person has a tendency to blame others and you don't want that and you also want to grow so i feel like you've seen that this person has been very persistent with their negative behavior so you're releasing them okay What would love do? Dwell on what you love. You have more options than you realize. You're being watched by loving eyes. So I'm definitely seeing that everybody loves you and respects you and you know this thing. And you can get anyone you want. So it's not like you're losing, you know, options. You'll always have love coming towards you. But right now it's important to... to do what you love doing to live your life the way you want and to follow your dreams that is what the energy is telling you so what you love is what you need to do right now okay so you haven't really realized you haven't really found someone that shows you what true love is or that gives you that kind of love that you're looking for so you're waiting okay I'm definitely seeing that you're someone that is loved by a lot of people. Like as a person, you're just one of the most friendly and exciting person to be with. <clears throat> some of you are teachers. Okay. Some of you are doing some sort of a practice and that is where your true path is. Where That is what your life purpose is. And I feel like your angels are talking to you through numbers or through feathers okay you may see a lot of times that um something's stopping you from doing anything negative okay yeah right now i'm definitely seeing you're living your life on your own terms you don't really need attention you're just loving yourself the way you are right now and you're letting go of the past completely even though they want you adjustments are required luck is on your side right now i feel yeah whatever is coming your way you will adjust with um, your colleagues you will adjust with your family you'll adjust with different people feel like you're good in adjusting and that is why people like your company and want to be by your side i'm seeing maybe a sagittarius coming but what i can see over here is there's a lot of luck coming in for you in career there's something major hit like you will be making in your career like breakthroughs coming okay you may meet a leo you may... hey okay okay we have leo we have taurus we have cancer and then we have virgo we have aries these are some signs that you will be coming across okay in this um, week 
now i will see from aries to pisces what does your person feel about you <clears throat> Aries is feeling locked, but they are thinking about you all day, all night. Taurus is making a decision of coming towards you in the right time. Gemini is seeing you as one and only. This could be a karmic, but they are very interested in you. Cancer. Cancer is not sure. They are not interested probably, I'd say. Leo is attracted to you, to your personality. I feel like they have a sudden like realization that they're not fit for you. Virgo. Virgo is so happy to have known you. They want to date you, they want to take it further with you. They're so excited to know you. Libra. Libra wants this new beginning with you, like a stable commitment here. And then we have Scorpio. Scorpio, I feel like, is uh, moved on. Okay. I feel like the Scorpio is very on and off. Like, at one point of time, they forget you and then they come back. You know, this is more like lust. Sagittarius. Sagittarius is seeing you as one of a kind. They see you as the dream come true and they want to commit with you. Capricorn. Capricorn is highly interested in the way you carry yourself. I feel like this person is quite attracted to your personality. And they love talking to you. Aquarius. Aquarius is talking to you guys. Another Pisces with Pisces. Another Pisces is very, very vindictive. They've been hurt in the past and they may end up hurting you bad. Okay. Now, what else? <clears throat> Renewal. Some of you are renovating your house and I'm also seeing this new love coming in. Take care of your health. Your person could be into health, health practitioner or it could be like a pilot or into Navy, military, stuff like that. Men in this like read are very like masculine. Love is definitely in the air. There's a proposal coming in guys and... You guys would travel. I feel like you will be traveling. Like that's what you want to do. Your love for self is right now. You feel at home right now. You're happy. You're healthy. Some of you is an Aquarius interested. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Someone is a doctor, like gynecologist. Someone's name is Caesar. Sec, sec second. I don't know what that means secretary someone is uh, working like that someone could be your secretary or you could be someone's secretary that's going to propose you sk could be the name i'm seeing yes you have angels communicating with you through numbers and feathers and different meanings amethyst will keep you healed if your health is not good take care of your health get an amethyst okay so these are some messages that I'm getting for you, Pisces. I hope you have um, resonated with them. It helped you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you again with more stuff. Bye.